Hi everybody, I am Lori, and um, I don't know if you can see her, but that's Tegan over there. Tegan has to stay in here with me while I film this because she's barking at everybody on the street, and um, the neighbors hate her because she's in the backyard and she's barking her head off. So I've got to, I have her imprisoned here with me. So um, like everybody else, I'm just trying to find ways to kind of reach out to people and connect. Um, you know, I know a lot of people probably feeling you know we're all kind of feeling the same right we're all kind of nervous and scared we don't really know what's going to happen next or um you know when it's going to get better though it will get better it's going to get better but we just don't know when so i was just thinking to myself well what you know could i do to kind of connect with people and um trying to you know tighten the bomb within humanity um so I have some poems and I thought, well, okay, I can re you know, recite one of my poems on here. So I'm going to recite one of my poems. Um, so just to warn you, a lot of my stuff's kind of sad. So, um, I tried to pick one that is not like completely miserable. Um, so you won't like be reaching for the arsenic. So, um, so this, uh, is entitled pageant girl and, uh, kind of like, this is kind of about all of us, you know, the, um, facade that we all have to put on every day to kind of get through and um, this superficial um, superficial kind of image that everybody kind of has of you and the expectation that they have and you don't want to let people down so you just kind of keep it up and put on the charade every day and, um, and it also kind of speaks to the fact that we all should kind of be kind to each other because you never really know what somebody else is going through you don't know what anybody else's struggle is so so this is called Pageant Girl. I wrote this about, I don't know, six months ago when I was just kind of in a, you know, bad place or whatever. So, okay. She wakes up every morning, puts her makeup on. She makes sure she looks perfect, though everything is wrong. She stares into the mirror, runs her fingers through her curls, and she practices her plastic smile just like a pageant girl. She walks into the closet, picks out her favorite dress, the one with yellow flowers. You know, she always has to look her best. She puts on her shoes, walks out the door, goes out into the world. And she waves to all the passers-by, just like a pageant girl. But you see, she's the great pretender, like an actor on a stage. She puts on this grand performance as she tries to hide her pain. But they don't know her sadness. This ache within her soul, the emptiness, the loneliness. She's hollow, never whole. But she does her best to mask it and she keeps it all inside and just hopes that no one figures out that this masquerade's a lie. So she meets their expectations. She gives them what they want to see. A silly, happy, vapid girl. Lighthearted, weightless, free. She deflects them with her sparkle. Her smile, white as pearls, bright and wide, but empty, just like a pageant girl. So that's why I've never recited a poem, one of my poems before. That's so cray cray. So, um, and hard. So if anybody else has anything they'd like to share with me, I would love to hear other people's poems, prose, um, excerpts from like great books, you know, um, Sylvia Plath. Um, Dickens, uh, um, uh, Fitzgerald, anything. If you guys want to like recite something or share your own poetry or work, please tag me. I would love to listen to it. I'm looking to reach out and connect with people. So I really appreciate you watching. So um, I'm just, oh, take care. Everybody take care and uh, be well. Take care of each other. All right, God bless. Bye.